Hey, what's up everyone? I usually do long form videos, but today I want to just make a quick video to show you just how fast you can map moving headlights in GeoPix 1.0. So uh, without further ado, let me just go ahead and jump here and get started. My target is five minutes. So I'm going to start by turning on my lights here over my shelf. And as you can see, they're doing their warm up cycle right now. Each of these is a nine channel fixture. Uh, this is the actual map that uh, I'm using for this fixture. There's a 14 channel as well, but that's not what's set up. Uh, so each of these are kind of offset by nine channels, starting at 11. So uh, that's what we've got to work with. Uh, let me go and shrink these down a little bit. So first things first, um, I could build this from scratch, but I'm going to use the Advitech importer, which is a nifty tool to use if you're going to be uh, driving your stuff with the Advitech device. Um, I did a search, and I see the bud box movers, which I've set up previously. Uh, everything's kind of configured for streaming ACN with Universe 13, so I'll go and import that into my scene. And once I've done that, uh, I've got my fixtures and my device. I know I don't need my pixel outputs for this demo, so I'll just go ahead and delete those. Uh, and let's go ahead and scoot this up a little bit higher, get it off the ground plane. Uh, once we've done that, we can go ahead and hop over here into hull mode under our fixture. Hit A, hold S, and then click twice on these uh, convenient grid points. I'll select both of my holes and I'll make a generator. Once I've done that, uh, I'll type in four for the count. Uh, then I want to select my fixture again and let's just increase the pick size so you can see what's going on. I go back to my generator and this is where I need to type in my, my DMX channels. So for this, I'll type in uh, the channels in the order they appear in this sheet down here. Uh, so that's going to start with pan tilt onwards. So I'll use the abbreviations P, T, DIM, R, G, B, W, um, speed, and reset. Once I've done that, I can jump back over here to my fixture to verify those settings transferred uh, to the fixture, which is where they're supposed to be. Great, they did. So that means I can delete the generator if I'd like. I can keep it if I'm going to be making changes later. Uh, so once we've done that, uh, what we need to do next is make some lights that we can see in our viewport. So I'm going to go ahead and hop over in the picks. I'll select all. They're green and highlighted, and I'll click on light from selection. And what that's going to do is create a, an array of four lights that are connected to our picks and will reflect the movement of those values as we start sending them out. So uh, next thing is let's get some, some input controls in our I.O. panel so we can control these with our MIDI controller. Uh, so I'll go and clear this. And let's go ahead and add some MIDI controls. So I'll move this slider and I'll add it to the viewport. This is going to be my dim channel. I'll call this dim. And then got my other sliders over here. I'm just going to hook up another couple. Uh, made a little too many there. All right, so let's see what we got. We've got the left and the right. So I'm going to call this one pan. Call this one tilt, uh, and that's great. We've got our, our three main kind of things there. So let's go ahead and hop back over to editor, and let's drop a projector down. This is how we get our content onto our actual picks. Um, scoot this back a little bit, and let's make this a little bit wider. Uh, great, let's call this projector RGB. The name doesn't matter, I'm just doing that for clarity. Uh, once we've done that, it's running the default texture, which is the only one we have right now. It's the color texture, so we'll just leave that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this and center it, but then lower it. And let's go ahead and rotate it so that it's facing up. Uh, great, so this actually isn't over the, over the picks, so I'm going to move the picks a little bit. Get those centered over the middle of the grid, great. Uh, all right, so for this, we're going to use, uh, this is not going to be RGB, but this is going to be the dimmer. So let's call this dim. Let's select dim for our texture, and let's clear those channels. We only want the red channel going through. Uh, great, so this is um, currently good. We should be seeing some content, uh, but we're not yet. So uh, one other thing, I actually messed up the settings. We want this to be going to the dim channel, not the red channel. So. Now that we've done that, uh, we can actually turn on our device so we can start seeing output above us here. 
Um, obviously, that's not looking right, and the reason why is my fixture is set to channel 11, and this starts at 11. I'm sorry, this is set to 1, this is set to 11. We need to set those to be the same number. Once we've done that, we'll get our mapping working correctly. So that's great. The last two things we can hook up for this demo are the pan and the tilt. So I'm going to go and duplicate this bottom projector. Uh, I'm going to move this up, and let's go and flip it upside down. Uh, let's scale it a little bit shorter. As we'll do with that one, uh, we'll call this pan, and we're going to go ahead and grab the pan texture, and we're going to route this into the pan channel. Great. Uh, we're going to go ahead and scoot this up and duplicate it one more time, and we're going to call this uh, tilt, and we're going to do the same thing, we route the tilt texture to the tilt channel. Uh, once we've done that, you'll see that our sliders over here on the MIDI controller are doing exactly what they should. Um, and of course, our dim channel works as well. So we can dim this and strobe is in here as well somewhere. You can see it right there. So one last step to get this fully mapped up, actually two steps. Uh, we're gonna go back to our picks, which we can select from the outliner. Uh, I'm gonna go into the channel map and I'm gonna go ahead and pick my pan channel from the ranges and let's go ahead and tune these ranges to match our digital lights uh, on screen. So. We want these pointing to the right, okay, and we max out the pan, we want them pointing to the left. And so once we've done that, uh, we're pretty much done. We can add a little bit of lag to our lights so that they look a little bit more realistic. Uh, so let's go in ahead, uh, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 100, 200, these numbers are pretty rough, so they're not going to look perfect, but as you can see, now the lights on screen actually lag and move sort of in tandem with our lights in the real world. So that is the end of the tutorial for how to map lights in GeoPix 1.0. Uh, this isn't out yet officially, but the beta will be out hopefully by August 1st. So stay tuned and more short videos like this to come. Thanks.